Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3 often get compared, which makes a lot of sense. The games are very similar in a lot of regards, and of course they're both on the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, Splatoon 3 advanced things a lot, it added a lot of new features, quality of life updates and new content, but some things were also taken away as well. So in this video, I wanted to take a look at some things that were removed from Splatoon 3 that were available in Splatoon 2. So let's dust off the old cartridge and see what we can find. First of all, one that I'm pretty sad about personally is the fact that after you reach level 30, if you talk to Judd, you'd actually get a free Super C Snail. This was honestly a great incentive for leveling up in Splatoon 2, it meant that there was actually a reason to do so, whereas in Splatoon 3 it really doesn't feel like there's much purpose to leveling up at all. You do get badges and stuff which is cool, but it's not as good as the Super Sea Snail which is a really incredibly useful reward as I'm sure you all know. Now in Splatoon 3 the only way of getting them is through Splatfests. I kind of understand why Nintendo did this, they made it so that the Super Sea Snails would feel a little bit more elusive and you'd really feel encouraged to take part in the Splatfest, but but I don't know, I feel like it just devalued leveling up a little bit too much, and it took away a purpose from Judd too, now he doesn't have anything cool to give you. I can't really imagine them ever bringing this back to Splatoon 3, they'd probably have to give all these Super Sea Snails to people retroactively if they did, so I sincerely doubt this feature will ever return in the game, which is quite sad. I definitely feel like Nintendo should consider doing something to make leveling up feel even more worth it in Splatoon 3 though, as right now it is definitely lacking in my opinion. And Judd could definitely do with another purpose, so him giving you some encouragement for leveling up would really be appreciated. But let me know, do you feel like getting this free Super Sea Snails helped encourage you to level up more in Splatoon 2? Or are you fine without this special reward? I'd love to see your thoughts down in the comments section. Next is League Battle, and we actually expected we would get this in Splatoon 3. In fact, it was always confirmed that this would be returning as a feature, but kind of complicatedly, it didn't. In the Sizzle Season update, it was confirmed that instead we would be getting challenges, which used some elements from League Battle, but it really wasn't quite the same thing. They did also make some changes to Anarchy Battle Open, I believe, to make that more like what League Battle used to be, but still, there's no consolidated League Battle mode in the game anymore, and there won't be going forward. So really, League Battle has been removed from Splatoon 3. Don't get me wrong, I do like the idea behind challenges quite a lot, and I can understand why they made some changes to Anarchy Battle Open 2 to try and make it feel a little bit more like what League Battle used to be, but for those Splatoon 2 hardcore players, I'm sure you're definitely going to be missing the addition of League Battle in this game, as it's sincerely unlikely in my opinion that it'll ever return in exactly the form it had in Splatoon 2. This is definitely one of those rare cases where they actually confirmed a feature would be returning, but it really didn't in the sense that we all expected, in fact we ended up getting something pretty darn different in the end. Do you miss the old League Battle though, or do you prefer how things are now? Definitely let me know. Now, whilst it's obvious that a ton of things like old maps and weapons and pieces of gear have gone, any of those really could return in my opinion. But something that I definitely don't think will ever return to Splatoon 3 is some of the old specials. In terms of Splatoon 2, we lost the Baller, the Bomb Launcher, Bubble Blower, Ink Armor, and Stingray. Technically, we lost the Splashdown 2, but it is in the game, just in the story mode. So that's quite a few specials that we lost that we will probably not see return at any point. Now, it's hard to say for certain because, you know, they did bring back things like the Kraken from Splatoon 1, which was a bit of a surprise. So maybe they could rework some of these, but personally, I don't see them coming back. Things like the baller share characteristics with the crab tanks, so that'd probably be a bit too similar to return. The bomb launcher, I don't know, I just really can't see that one coming back. The bubble blower, maybe, that one is fairly unique, but it's hard to say. Ink Armor is just like a scaled down version of the big bubbler in a way, so I can't really imagine that returning. And Stingray just feels a little bit too OP, at least from Nintendo's point of view, so I find it hard to imagine they would ever bring that one back, but if they did, it would probably be really nerfed in my opinion. I have to be honest, I don't really miss any of the specials from Splatoon 2 that much. I really miss things like the Kraken, but now that has returned. So honestly, I won't be that disappointed if any of these don't return in the future, which, like I said, I kind of doubt they will. If we do see them return though, I think they will be heavily modified. They will probably look pretty different than what we got in Splatoon 2. Of course, there are also a whole bunch of specials that were removed from 1 and then weren't in 2, or maybe were in 2, but then aren't in this game. Either way, I certainly hope Nintendo will consider adding more specials in the future because I like a lot of variety, and whilst we do have a lot of good ones in Splatoon 3 in my opinion, I'm definitely missing some of the ones from the past that are now no longer in the game. Let me know in the comments section down below which one you missed the most though, I would love to hear. 
Now, this next one is technically in Splatoon 3, but it's very different. This is, of course, Krusty Sean's truck. Krusty Sean is absolutely beloved in Splatoon, as I'm sure you all know. And whilst the functionality of his truck and the tickets and such do exist in the lobby, I just really miss Krusty Sean. Nowadays, Krusty Sean has been reduced to just existing in the Splatnet app, which I think is such a shame. And whilst the feature is kind of interesting there, it's definitely not equivalent to him having his own truck out in the plaza. That's something that I feel like the Splatoon 3 plaza is really missing. Some of the character and life that was injected into it with Splatoon 2 really doesn't exist in Splatoon 3 in my opinion. There are some cool things you can find around the map, but I don't know. I really love that Splatoon 2 plaza. There's so many good things there. And another Another thing that I'm actually going to mention very soon as well. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty sad that Krusty Sean doesn't really exist in Splatoon 3. Maybe he'll make some kind of comeback in the future, that would honestly be so cool. But given the fact we can get these items from the lobby currently, I really doubt that he'll return in the same form he had back in Splatoon 2. Now, finally, we have one that I've seen so many of you desperately miss, and this is the Squid Beats 2. So, in case you don't remember, there was a little arcade machine that you could access from the main plaza, and this would allow you to play Squid Beats 2. Now, some of these games did already exist in Splatoon 1. In fact, I believe there was actually a few different ones in Splatoon 1, but it was mainly just Squid Beats 2. It seems like this time around, it kind of got replaced with two things. The first being the jukebox, and then secondly, of course, Table Turf Battle, which is a little bit more elaborate than Squid Beats 2 was. But it seems like a lot of people really miss this little rhythm game. It was pretty unique for the series, so it's sad to see it gone, honestly. And it was a great way of listening to all of the music in the game, too. In fact, if you head to the Splatoon 1 Plaza where the arcade machine is, now it's just a terminal for Hotlantis, which makes me so sad, because this is where originally you would have been able to access the original Squid Beats game. I could potentially see Nintendo bringing this back in the future. Maybe it could be a cool part of a DLC or something. I really don't know. I'd love to see it return though. I think these mini games are a lot of fun and they just give you fun little things to do around the plaza that aren't just the main parts of the game. So who knows, maybe there is a chance we'll see Squid Beats 2 return at some point. I certainly hope so and it seems like a lot of you do too. So those are five things that were in Splatoon 2 that aren't in Splatoon 3. There are so many others as well that I could have mentioned, but I'll let you do so down in the comment section below. What are some things that were removed that you really miss? I would love to hear. If you made it to the end of this video, be sure to comment Splat Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on channel notifications for more.